All right, folks, so today we've got a quick how-to video, and today we're gonna be looking at how to reformat an Xbox or PlayStation formatted hard drive so you can use it with your PC or Mac. So if you've upgraded your PlayStation 3 or 4's internal hard drive, or if you've got any one of the many special edition Seagate game drives that you've been using on one of your consoles, you can actually repurpose these to use them on either your PC or Mac. Unfortunately, both Xbox and PlayStation format the disk drives in such a way that they won't automatically recognize if you plug them into your computer. But we can fix that with just a couple of easy steps. I should clarify that if you buy any of the Seagate game drives, brand new, out of the box, they will work on your PC or Mac. You'll just need to go through this process if you've already set up the drive on one of your consoles. So for this video, I'm going to be using this Gears 5 game drive that I had all my Xbox One games installed on. And I'm going to be repurposing this so I can use it for a backup drive for some of my files. Just a word of caution, this process will completely reformat the drive. So if there's anything on there that you don't want to lose, make sure you back it up on your console before you start this process. Now, if you're using an internal hard drive that you've taken out of one of your consoles, you will need a SATA to USB cable, but they're pretty easy to get a hold of. And I'll leave a link below. So first let's head over to the computer and we'll plug this into an open USB port. Okay, so usually when you plug in an external drive, you'll get a notification that the system's recognized it and it's ready to use. But you'll notice here that nothing has changed. So what we'll do is click on the search button and search for disk management. Open the disk management app and it will show you all the drives and partitions on your system. Right at the bottom, you'll see disk one, and you'll notice that it's shown as unknown and not initialized. So to get this drive up and running, right click the drive and select initialize disk. In the pop-up, check the correct drive is selected and that the GPT radio button is checked. It should be as standard and then click OK. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the description of the drive has changed to basic and online. Next, right click the unallocated space box and select new simple volume. This will open the new simple volume wizard. Click the next button. Next again to confirm the volume size. And then you have the option of designating a drive letter. I just left this as D. Then click Next. On the next screen, you can select the file system you'd like to use, and you can also name the drive if you'd like, though you can always change that later. Make sure that the Perform Quick Format checkbox is checked, and hit Next. Once it's done doing what it's doing, which is pretty much instantaneous, click the Finish button, and we're all done. You can now see the drive in the file explorer and use it as you normally would. So that's how to format an Xbox or PlayStation formatted hard drive to use on your PC. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.